All right. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's a vlog because I'm doing a introduction to my horse video. Now, um, if you guys know me, you know that I have a horse. I've been riding horses since I was five years old and I've been owning my own horses since I was 10 years old. Uh, so that's eight years. Today, I am, yes, going to be vlogging, showing you guys my horse, giving you a little introduction to him. Um, today, I thought today was the perfect day because I'm going to be giving him a little bath uh, because he has lice and I'm going to be washing the lice off with buckets of water and trying to get the eggs out of his hair because he's moving house in a week. Uh, a week today and I'm so excited about it. I'm so hyped to get Pip out of this stinky place that I'm at now. Um, <laughs> it's a vlog day, little vlog day. I'm excited today. It's really hot outside. It's 25 degrees Celsius right now. Don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. You'll have to like look it up if you care that much. Nice and hot. We're gonna give Pip a little bath. Um, gonna give him a groom, give him a feed. He's gonna be really happy. Um, I'm really happy. I'm gonna get dominoes after this. So you know what? Today's a good day. <laughs> All right. I have arrived. The gate is locked, so I'm gonna have to unlock the gate. Oh. Put your car in neutral before you take your foot off the clutch. Top driving tips from me. Almost made that mistake. Um, <laughs> just gonna open the gate and then I'll see you all inside. Okay. Um, firstly, I want to apologize if the quality of this video is kind of poor. I'm filming this on my phone, so it's not gonna be as good quality as my other videos because I usually record on my camera but I'm using my phone because my camera doesn't have a flip screen so I can never really see what I'm doing when I'm vlogging. I'm gonna go grab- oh my god there's a fork! Okay, wow. <laughs> gonna grab my head collar and make my way. So let's go to the field. My vlogging skills aren't top par so I'm sorry if this is like really bad and annoying. Also my hair is- I just washed it so it's kind of fluffy. Pip is waiting for me. I don't know if you can see him. Can you see him? Is my head in the way? Oh yeah, he's right there. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Say hi, Pippin. So yeah, this is Pippin. His name is Pippin, but I call him Pip. I mostly just call him Pippin, Mr. Pippin. Um, he's 18. Same age as me, y'all. Um, if I could open the gate, that would, that would be great. Fun story, I had an accident down here during winter because I put my foot on here uh, and then I slid and cracked my head on the stuff that's down there. I uh, thought I was gonna die, not gonna lie. My nose started bleeding and I was like, oh, this is the end of me, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Hi, he's a good boy. Right, the head collar is acquired. You see the manners on this horse? He's literally just waiting for me. I love him so much. You're so good. You're so good. Come on, Bubby. Yeah, so Pip is 18. He's an Irish sports horse, 16 hands. He's an ex show jumper, but I haven't done any show jumping with him just because I'm a scaredy cat and I've had too many accidents in my life. <laughs> he is tied up. He hates being on camera. Every time I point my phone at him, he's like, I don't want to know, please. I'm not a celebrity. Just get your phone out my face. So yeah, that's Pip. He's a gorgeous boy and I love him very much. I've had him for three years now. Two years. Three years. I think three years. Um, he's my only horse. I used to have three horses, but one of them... Um, she was a bit too old for what I wanted to do because I wanted to like progress more and she was getting old. She had arthritis. So she is in a retirement home. Um, the other horse that I had passed away because he was really old. He had a tumor in his knee. I miss him. <clears throat> I miss him a lot. He was literally my favorite being on this planet. 
But Pip is now my favourite being on this planet, and Crunchy is my favourite being in the sky. <laughs> uh, first things first, I'm going to find a hay net, and we're going to fill that up so Pip can have a little munch on some hay. Y'all can come with me whilst I do that. We have a selection of hay nets over here, so I'm just going to... None of these are mine, I'm just going to choose one and use it. He's so pretty. You're so pretty. Yeah, that's the yard cat down there called Abby. She's super old now though, like super old. She's like decrepit. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to fill up this hay net. Whoa, uh, limbo. <laughs> so I'm just going to put one slice in this hay net. I hate, I hate doing hay nets. Not only am I allergic to hay, but also hay nets are so, they're such a pain in my ass. They really are. Oh, bye phone, see you later. You can just see me peeping. What's up? <laughs> hey. <laughs> we have successfully filled up a hay net. It's just got one slice in it because he's only going to be standing on the yard for a little bit. It's just to keep him occupied because Pip is kind of impatient, so... We like to keep him occupied. Happy boy. Happy boy. Okay, so I am going to give Pip a little bath. Oh, <laughs> the lighting is not good. Okay, so since I'm gonna give Pip a bath, I'm gonna find myself a bucket and a sponge. And I'm just gonna sponge him off in the places where he's um, got live lice at the moment. Most of the live lice have gone and he's just got eggs like in his mane. Uh, but I'm just going to give him a sponge down. It's hot as well, so it just gives him a nice little cool off. Oh God. All right. What's that? <laughs> I can't see you, but hopefully you can see me. I do have a louse treatment for Pip. I'm not just like putting water on him and hoping that they go away. I've got a treatment powder, but it's taking a long time to work for some reason um the live ones are mostly dead um he had a few on his chest the other day but from what i can see they're not there anymore he's just got the eggs in his hair so that's why i'm gonna give it a comb out today and that's why i've kind of given him a bath or put some water on him to just make sure that the live ones are gone and then try my best to comb out all of the eggs as well because we don't want him taking lice to a new yard so yeah right I guess I should mention as well, if you see him doing that, it's because there's flies that are tickling him. He's not, like, angry or in pain. Well, he is angry, but that's because there's flies on him. Oh, oh. Is that cold? Who's annoying you? Where are you, pesky bugger? Die. Drown. Drown in my wrath. So Pip is officially bathed a little bit. It's not really a bath. It's more like a it's more like a little sprinkle shower. Now I'm going to give him a little bit of a brush in the places where he's dry, um, and comb his hair, and pick his feet out. Put some oil on his feet to keep them nice and moisturised because it's very dry right now. Very hot. Very dry in the UK, and his feet. Are cracking a little bit so I'm gonna put some oil on his feet comb his hair yeah I think he's a bit full up they moved to a new field today and there's like tons more grass in there than what he had before so I think he's a bit full up because he's not eating his hay uh, so he looks a bit bloated so he's probably eaten quite a lot today let's give him a brush just getting a dandy brush
What I'm also going to do is take some scissors and a thinning comb and just tidy up his mane because his mane is long um, and it's thick. So. Also, yes, he is a tad bit tall for me to reach his head. I am only five foot four, just about. Uh, so he is a bit tall for me to reach his head, but I'm going to try my best. <laughs> Just gonna do a little before and after so this is his main before and this is after so it's much shorter shorter it's thinner if you're wondering why he's missing some hair here it's because over winter he had rugs on or like all the time so where it was sitting on here it just like rubbed and eventually his hair like went away it's growing back though so over summer that will get longer he's just got like a bit of hair then no hair and then his mane <laughs> so it does kind of look a bit weird but yeah he looks a lot tidier now is somebody tired poor pippin such a hard life isn't it oops is there someone over there um he's got some gray hairs coming through as well bit of an old man um, he did have some weight issues actually over winter, but he looks very plumpus now, so he's obviously, we've been feeding him up to get his weight back on track. So if you're a horse person and you're wondering why I use scissors and a thinning comb on Pip's hair rather than pulling it to get it shorter, you know, where you like wrap it and then pull it, pull it, pull it. Um, I don't do that because Pip hates his mane being pulled. Like he will not stand still as soon as you pull a hair out he like shakes his head he won't stand still he tries to pull away so obviously what he wants comes first just don't do it because pip doesn't like it and it works like just the same using scissors and a thinning comb it doesn't look like choppy it might in the video i don't know but in person it looks like natural it doesn't look like a bowl cut now i'm gonna do his feet You don't know pain until you've been whipped by a horse's tail right in the face. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> four out of four complete. I'm now going to put some oil on his feet. Then I'll make his feed and he can go back out because I, I have other stuff to do. I need to clear the fields and move the horses into the other field. So I have some things to do. So. Let's go. Now I'm gonna cut up some carrots to put in his dinner. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, those are my parkies. <laughs> Be a challenge to do this with one hand. Ugh. No, man down. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut up three carrots to put in his dinner. Then we're gonna put them in. Okay, carrots are in. In case you're wondering what I'm feeding Pip, I give him about a scoop and a half of conditioning mix and I give him this because of his weight issues that I mentioned previously. He was very underweight so we got him a conditioning mix to put in his dinner to fatten him up and it has worked a treat. Um, about a handful and a half of chaff and then some oats as well because I heard oats are good for horses. Um, I'm just going to put some water in here and then mix it up and then give it to my gorgeous pony yeah are you laughing is it funny his his dinner's all mixed up now i'm gonna give it to him he loves dinner time he's never rude about it though like i can just go right up to him and he's like okay back up good lad see he's never rude He's a very well-mannered, lovely boy. And I tipped a bucket everywhere because I'm smart. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put my grooming box away. So just put all my brushes back. Put this in its little hole. If it will fit. Yay! Okay, now we just wait for Pip to finish his dinner 
and then we can put him back in the field so yeah that was like a little come to the horses with me uh thingy my bobby hopefully you enjoyed it and you enjoyed seeing pip because pip is a very lovely boy if you want to see more videos do just let me know either by liking the video or uh, putting a comment in the comment box below and i will be sure to get on it and bring out some more videos i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope that it was interesting to you to see kind of like my horse life and everything horses aren't just a hobby for me they're literally my life like i've been uh riding horses since i was five and i've been you know dealing with horses for so many years of my life like 13 years or something like that i've worked with horses i've owned my own horses for a lot of years i've done competitions and stuff so horses are my life they're not just a hobby if that makes sense um oh my god wow okay <laughs> as i said i do have other things to do um, here now so I'm gonna end this vlog here but I do hope that you guys enjoyed it remember that all of my social medias are down in the description box below so if you'd like to head over and follow them then you can and also remember to subscribe to this channel for more content like this I'll start making more horsey videos if that's something you guys want to see but we do a variety of different videos on this channel like whoa we do everything here whoa join the family <laughs> yeah, I think that's all Peace out from myself and Pip, who is stuffing his face over there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to stay positive, keep smiling, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I don't want to stop recording. <laughs>